Before I lose what little is left of the daylight I have today, I wanted to let you know where I'm going. I'm going to two different cafes today in Edinburgh where I've never gone before. One is brand spanking new. One's been around for a long time. The first one is called Elephants and Bagels and it's just over this way, um, just off the campus of University of Edinburgh. The other one I'm going to is just outside of the St. James Quarter, that brand new shopping dining area um, that's in Newtown. So I'm going to go explore those two places and let you know what I get. the campus of University of Edinburgh. I am in this main square. It's called Bristow Square. We've got the Teviot building here, which is kind of like the student union building. I think that's right. And this is like a big hall here that's gorgeous. Can you see that? It's round and it's amazing. Um, I'm going to try not to be super weird because there are a lot of students around, you know, and I'm an old lady, but I just went to Elephants and Bagels. It's this really cute little place in Nicholson Square in Edinburgh. And I have a whole bag of wonderful things. Some things I, I, I kind of know what they are because she told me like this. She said it's soup. So I was very excited. I have a spoon in my bag, but I think I'm just going to take a peek and take a sip. It looks like a nice vegetable. Oh, yeah, it's like a delicious uh, vegetable soup. It's a cold day in Edinburgh, and that'll be so nice to have. And I'll try to make it home without spilling it all over the place. But you know what? Maybe I'll just have it while I'm out. Um, I'm not sure what bag is what, but she said there's a there's a pre pre made. I think was the word she said, or pre stocked or something bagel in here. So I think she just put together a bagel sandwich for me. Oh wow, it's not, it's like, it's like hummus. I don't know what this other thing is, it two kinds of hummus? Sorry, it's so windy, I'm afraid it's going to blow my tripod away. Honestly, I don't know what that is, but it looks absolutely amazing. If there's not any pita bread in here, I might pick up some on the way home. Because, you know, honestly, I love hummus, but I don't want to just like, eat a mouthful of hummus, but they're olives and red peppers. Looks like some couscous salad. I think this was $3.50. Could have been $3.99, but I don't know. Okay. I have one plain bagel, two plain bagels, and one that looks like a, like a whole wheat or something like that. So that's wonderful. Maybe I can, if I don't stop for um, pita bread. I can like do like little bagel slices, kind of toast them up. Maybe this is the bagel that she was talking about. It is. Oh, wow. I'm going to taste it. I, it looks like chicken. It is like a really yummy pesto chicken pizza bagel. That's amazing. Like, I would order and eat that any day. And then one last thing, cookie. Looks like I want to say maybe a white chocolate. Maybe just white chocolate, whatever it is, it's really yummy. So I got a filled bagel, soup, 
all those little salads, three bagels. I can try to miss anything. And a cookie for less than four pounds. That was really wonderful. I would highly recommend elephants and bagels to anyone, whether it's a too good to go or not. That was a really nice little meal. There was sit-in, places to sit in. The people were super nice. They had lots of options, but yeah, that was a really great one. I'm glad you came along with me. Obviously, I'm at Coffee Saints. This is a brand new eatery in town. Doesn't just have coffee, it's got full meals and everything. And I really love how they they have a mission to support, support vulnerable adults. Um, yeah, it seems like a great place. The ladies are decorating for Christmas, typically. And I say typically, I've literally walked by here one time. Came by the other day because we wanted to check it out. But all the seating area, um, had cute little tables and umbrellas. So um, I think they've just closed up shop for the night. Um, but yeah, and they gave me a box. It's got a cute little sticker, Coffee Saints. Um, I'm excited about what I'm gonna get. Uh, when we walked by here the other day, we actually were at the St. James Corner, which is that big, well-lit building that I was showing you. Um, and we, it's such a really fun place. It's a really nice mall, but we came by here to check it out. And like the food seemed like it would be really good. And the whole area, like this whole vibe is really nice right here. So really liked it. Okay, I'm looking down now. I'll show you first. What do we have? Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six things. There are two of these, whatever this is. Lemon. Wow. That is delicious. I love a lemon drizzle cake, lemon squares, whatever it is. I'm here for it. Two of those pieces. This, maybe it looks like a what we would call in the States a pound cake. Oh, what is that flavor? I mean, I think it is like a, I think it is a pound cake. It's got a little hint of something else that I'm trying to place, put my finger on it. Maybe almond? It's kind of hard to tell. This looks like what would be called here a flapjack, which is like an, an Oh, it looks like a granola bar, but it's softer. Oh, wow. That is so good. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here all the time. <laughs> this could be dangerous. <laughs> this is really good. It's probably good that I got mostly savory things at Elephants and Bagels. <laughs> because now I've got all the sweet stuff. I shouldn't do any more of these this weekend. It's a Friday night, so, you know, I'm going to party it up. What does that look like? I want to say it's chocolate, like Oreo looking. Yep. It doesn't taste like it has Oreos, but it's like it's trying to mimic it. You know what I mean? So like that ch chocolate and cream kind of flavor. I don't feel like it has coconut, but it looks like that's the white. It looks like coconut. I apologize that it's still a little windy, but 
this is a quiet area right here. I was going to sit right over there and I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a little video just around the corner. We're at St. Mary's Cathedral. This is like on the back side. I think that's why it's called Coffee Saints, but on the back of St. Mary's Cathedral at the top of Leith Walk, there is a pub and it's called the Conan Doyle. And it's called the Conan Doyle because Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was born like across the street. Don't know who that is? He wrote Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. So look at that. How amazing. It's like strawberry cream tart. Like there, I don't know if you can see that. It's got like, it's like a mound of cream inside. That is absolutely incredible. I don't even, I don't even know how to explain like how hard of a time I'm gonna have deciding which piece of these to eat first. Like the tart was amazing. Love the lemon drizzle, the flapjack. Wow. This was great. Well done, Coffee Saints. I'm so glad you're here in Edinburgh. It's raining a little bit. I'm so glad you're here on Too Good To Go. Five stars for Coffee Saints. And I'm going to tell everybody about it because this was absolutely amazing. Love your mission. Love your place, love your food. Two thumbs up, two, two thumbs up.